Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back. Glad to have you along for another episode of Mike's RC Corner. And I'm just going to do a unboxing and driving demo for you today. Now, I got this sent to me. This package here in this box. It's the Brave High Speed 122 Desert Buggy. It's from Subotech. Uh, it goes over 40 kilometers an hour and it comes in a variety of different models with bodies and uh, just some of the specs here you know it's a shocks ball bearings um, interesting it comes with uh, double a size one cell light bulbs you get two of them for your two uh, light bulbs and uh, tires have foam in them everything like that so let's uh move on over here to the uh, workbench and let's get this thing out of the box and see what's all inside. Sit tight. Okay guys this was well secured in the box and uh, shipped well. Um, I'm really impressed how it was shipped and it came into basically three major things. We got the RC itself, the radio, and then this bag. Uh, let's just go over the radio really quick. Um, this is familiar territory if you own the previous Subotech. And I'm just going to show you now the previous model that I had. I have this one. It's the same radio that comes with it. Um, nothing's really changed in that regard. So we'll get back to this uh, truck later when we compare it. So anyways, trigger feels good. It's really light. Uh, plastic wheel. You got a steering dual right and steering trim. You can bind the radio on off switch and takes three double A's. Uh, it's rated to go about 50 60 meters in range and uh, with a 124 scale 122 scale RCs um, that's going to be getting pretty far away from you and being a smaller RC is already starting hard to see where it's going what's what it's doing so that's a acceptable range if you ask me and of course 2.4 gigahertz we'll put the radio aside and uh, we'll crack the bag open here And right off the top we see that we have a uh, battery charger and it runs off USB so it's a round end that plugs in at the top and you have the USB interface now I have the same type charger for the previous model and uh, one thing I do notice that if you plug this into a computer I believe your computer USB port is outputting a half an amp 1.05 amps uh, if you plug this into, say, like an iPhone charger or uh, something that's not quite so high rated, not like an iPad charger, but something that's rated around 1 amp or so, uh, this will charge the batteries somewhat faster. And these batteries that come with it, again, are 700 milliamp hour one cell batteries. You get two, of course. And uh, it takes a little bit of time to charge it, but the runtime is insane on this. Uh, you get about, um, I mean, if you're not hammer at full throttle all the time, or you're just playing with it casually, I think you should be able to get 35, 40 minutes, maybe more. That's how I got out of my old model. So that's really cool. The charging time, probably two hours. I'm saying that's just a guess a bit from my experience, but uh, charging it off a computer port off your laptop or your PC it will take much longer so if you get the amperages up around one I think you'll, you'll be safe of course the manuals here inside the plastic bag you get a little handy dandy screwdriver extra body pins which is really cool of course a little allen wrench uh, the manual is really cool looks uh, well laid out you have uh, Chinese and English together and it just uh, goes through what this model's all about, about the radio, of course, everything. Of course, you got the parts in the back, which is cool. And a lot of these parts are crossover between the two models. So that's good. So, you know, um, especially I've seen the diffs. I've seen the shocks. I've seen a lot of these parts uh, on uh, Banggood. This RC was sent to me from Banggood. Thanks uh, again to the guys there for uh, signing that to me to be reviewed. Now we'll get down to the RC itself, and I'm um, just going to do a quick little comparison. Now the wheelbase and everything is identical, but the body is bigger. 
and uh, this has that Telluride look you would say this one is more of a hard body and I think what they're trying to accomplish with this is do like a scale rig type of thing you know for crawling however I will say that the speed of this goes the same speed as this one and these go over 40 kilometers an hour and uh, they boogie pretty good <laughs> and they got uh, springy shocks there's no oil filled shocks in these and um, these uh, ones at these price points um, don't come with oil filled shocks and you know some people investigate and try and get you know 124 low C shocks or something on it that's up to you if you want to pursue that further I really don't see an issue with it um, of course wicked looking paint scheme it's got a uh, seat steering wheel in there light bar on top now there is no LEDs in there but in the back side you can insert LEDs there's headlights in the body uh, built into the body uh, the bumpers are cool now this whole body is quite rigid and it's not really designed to come off and I'll tell you why I'll just uh, flip this over and I'll show you that the one difference of this one compared to the other one is the on off switch is built into the chassis on the bottom and that's really cool and handy because the other one would be tucked up high inside on the ESC receiver combo this one and just like the other one has little pods and you can just pop the battery covers off and insert the battery inside and you just these are really flexible here these side panels and you just pop it right back in get the battery thing facing the proper way by reading it and you just snap it on just that simple the battery ain't coming out this uh, style is a little reminiscent of the 116 scale um, Traxxas Slash and E-Revo kind of have the battery compartments on both sides when you want to bump it up to like 4 cell and stuff it's a really good idea and I don't know why more RC companies with this size scale, the 118 scale, don't go to this because I've seen these kind of batteries all on those sites. You can get up to like two, 3,000 milliamp hours in these batteries. Easy to replace, easy to charge, um, you know, just makes a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, long run times, you know, instead of getting a little light bulb like this that has six, 700 milliamp hours and Stuff like that. I just think it's just smart to do it that way. Um, again, friction springy shocks, Phillips screws all the way around. Um, I am going to take the body off. I haven't done so yet. The body is really cool. I like the detail. It's got a full size tire on the back. Um, another thing I want to say about that is that the side panel here these mirrors are rubber so they will flex and not break off which is cool and we got the body pins off here and that's not so easy because this thing I also already removed the um, over film spray film whatever protection film I've already taken it off so something you might want to do. This thing is really sticking on. Oh, it's because the body pin is still on. Okay. And one thing you have to look out for is that the lights are still attached. And uh, you can unplug that. But it's also a good reason why to leave this body on and not take it off very often unless you have to work on the RC. So, yeah, a lot of these things are just screwed on in. It looks really great. It's firm. It's stiff. Just the side panels have flex. I think this body is really going to last. Again, underneath, I hope you guys can see this an integrated ESC five wire servo. Not too thrilled with that, but it seems a lot of these uh, price point uh, RCs come with a five wire servo. Now, here's your antenna sticking out, receiver combo, whole nine yards. Um, Everything is tucked in underneath the servo, everything, there's a aluminum mounting plate for the, the motor, 
that's a brushed motor inside and uh, it's got a gear the, where the gears mesh there's a cover plate so keep the rocks and the dirt and everything out of that so it's just a real solid looking RC that way so of course this video wouldn't be complete without showing you guys how this runs so I am going to take this outside and continue the video on from there all right sit tight and let's get right to it hey there guys Mike here back here with Tayson the little man he's real excited about this RC until God junk came to the neighbors here uh, anyways back to the RC cool little uh, 122 scale truck hard body this is the running video running uh, portion of the video we're going to do right here now mind you this thing is a lot heavier than the previous model and uh, the CG is a lot higher you got a tire on here so I have ran this thing already and I will say let me turn it on and uh, turn it to the radio we have mine uh, one thing I will say about this truck is uh, it tends to tip over quite easily so I've turned my steering dual rates down to about 80 percent so it doesn't do very sharp turning it does very sharp turning but it will tip over so I thought I'd show you guys here outside around my driveway now this thing uh, goes uh, 40 kilometers an hour I don't think you guys will be able to see the LED lights running on the driveway so I'll point it up and show you here in the camera hopefully we can see this the LED lights now they shine through the Lexan they're mounted in behind the Lexan so pretty cool I can see them clearly when I'm running it but I doubt the camera will pick it up so let's just take it to the uh, driveway here and give it full juice just so you can see the maximum speed that's max speed there I think it's a little bit slower than the other model I say it's around about 35 but it's definitely quick enough and these tires are very grippy there's foam inside they do the job let's just take this over to grass now definitely this thing is looking like a scale rig truck to me um, you can take this through the grass I wouldn't take it through high grass uh, it's been a very dry summer here and we just cut the lawn yesterday so it's kind of dry and thin, thinned out a lot, not thick at all. And uh, you can easily take this through the lawn. I wouldn't recommend running this through the lawn more than 20, 30 seconds at a time. But it's definitely uh, handling it quite well. As you can see, it bounces around a fair amount because it just has uh, friction shocks, no oil. And let's just chase the little man ah! <laughs> here on his bike. He loves that. We'll go underneath the truck. A lot of fun. And for me, my son loves this thing. Loves me chasing him on his bike with it. We also have the other model. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> here we come. Here we go. Ah! Uh, we're going to have fun doing it when he gets older. Take a handle a remote on this type of RC. Maybe another year or so. He's only two. So, lots of fun. Lots of fun. I'll just show you here. I have the dual rates turned right down. And that's the cornering on that steering dual rate. Let me just dial it up and show you how tight a turn it can really do okay that's the highest but you'll see if I take it for any speed it'll tip over so the best oh you want to flip it up so the best uh, cure for that is just to turn that steering rate right down and I put it about 50% right now and you can see uh, right there on that corner there the back tire was coming up so I'll just dial that dual rate right down. 
it does fine. And when you go in the off-road area, it tends to turn tighter because the wheels bounce up and it realigns itself even more. So I'm really impressed. I think this thing's a real looker. You can add in the extra LEDs to the light bar on top. Uh, again, this uh, was sent to me from Banggood. Thanks to the guys at Banggood for doing this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got questions or comments, please leave it below. Thanks for tuning in to get another episode of Mike's RC Corner. Hope uh, if you're a new subscriber that uh, you come back and watch some more of my other videos. All right, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you!